now that your girl's recording, then we can go ahead and we can start this up, right? But since it is we are talking about this fight with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, let's go ahead and let's talk about it. This can't be real. Jamari, shout outs to you. Uh, let's get into this damn video, y'all. Let's do it. I don't know What's if up, someone's Jester? ever made me eat my words so fast. I mean, I just made my video on how the last couple of Jake Paul fights have drawn little to no interest because Jake has essentially been out here fighting absolute nobodies who are far past their prime. And while he did knock one of them out cold and he finished the other one within the first round, people really did not care and it seemed like he was drawing less and less interest with every single fight. Now in my defense, in that video I did say that Jake might have some juice left in the entertainment tank, but that he was going to have to go back to fighting people with much higher social profiles. I was predicting KSI, maybe Ryan Garcia, but with him now fighting the man who is arguably the most recognizable boxer on planet Earth right now, this will definitely drum up a lot of interest. I don't care if there is some 30 year age gap. I mean, you got a guy that was on Disney Channel stepping into the ring with an absolute killer. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. And to say all that and then praise Allah afterwards is nuts. <laughs> but I need that wording to be very understood with Mike Tyson. I've watched boxing since I was a kid. I've, I, I, my dad still has the VCR tapes of the same fight that he bit um, Holyfield's ear, ear off, right? We used to watch this on tapes all the time. I used to go to a lot of boxing rings as a kid. I was, I've always been around that. I've seen people's face get turned into something nuts. You know what I mean? That word killer is appropriate for Mike Tyson. I don't like that wording. Ooh, yo, Jom! With the big body raid. What's good, Jom? <laughs> hey, hey, there we go. Yo, Jom, welcome on in. Uh, how was your stream, gang? Yeah, to say, to say all that and to, to say it praise Allah afterwards, it's a, you just said it as you're going to eat that nigga kids. <laughs> and then say praise Allah. But... I, like I said, I grew up on watching boxing. When I say it is, Mike Tyson has always been somewhat of that aggressor, murderous type of person as it is. Like, he, yeah, he may have learned how to soften up because of the fact, you know, you going to jail does that. And then all of that. So, you know what I mean? Mike Tyson has always been this way. And even at 57, he's still able to go ahead and fight people. And I want this to be, be very clear. 50-something-year-old is not old. And I think this is what Gen Z generation got it confused because at this rate, nobody that's in their middle age, 40s and 50s, isn't trying to fight niggas like that. Unless it is that they have to. You put somebody in a position to where it is that they have to put their hands on you, you don't understand the level of strength that comes from a middle-aged man at that you put that nigga in the position to where does he has to fight you, he's going to fuck you up even worse than what a younger nigga can do. And this is why it is that I'd be like, listen, if you, the worst thing it is you want to be doing is fucking with somebody that is that's way older than you. Way older than you. That level of strength comes in from like, you know, shit that they had to deal with, especially at this time, day and age, you know? So I need that to be very clear. Don't sit there and sleep on this nigga's age. You know, that nigga can still go ahead and literally put a nigga out <laughs> this nigga mike tyson has caught bodies before and this nigga jake paul want to go ahead and fight against them <laughs> you can't tell me this is this isn't a money move at this rate jake paul I've, I've seen his fights but i'm not interested i'm just really not he's not a fighter jake paul and mike tyson is not in the same ranking of fights <laughs> he should be fighting somebody in a way lower ranking than, than mike tyson of course so this is why I'm like, both of these niggas got to get paid. Oh, it's an easy gun, easy cash grab, easy cash grab. So this is why I'm like, mm, okay. And that's something a lot of we, people we are going to want to see whether you like Jake or not. This was just some of the initial reaction. 
Jake Paul is a good boxer, and Mike's obviously not in his prime anymore. Oh, you don't say. But if Mike loses, or this is a tie, then we absolutely know for sure that this is faked, or at least staged. I mean, I'm predicting right now that no one's gonna get knocked out in this fight. I don't know if there will be a no knockout clause in there may not there may not be a level to like i said before they're gonna add rules and stipulations on this fight so this fight is gonna be trash just because of that mike is capable of knocking niggas out he always has and he still is at this rate so i'm you know they're gonna put that in there to where it's like oh yeah you can't you can't go ahead you can't do this 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 and this they're gonna be some type of level of rules so in the contract but I just can't really see that happening. I mean, you got this guy who's really mad. He says, I said it once and I'll say it again. Jake Paul claiming to be a boxer while preying on retired combat sports athletes who have sustained careers worth of injuries is one of the most utterly pathetic displays of cowardice I've ever seen in my entire life. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Stop encouraging this clown. You're a joke. Netflix, you're also a joke for promoting this as well. Damn. I mean, everyone he's fight has had to agree to get into that ring. And you know what their encouragement is? The money, baby. I mean, hey, if someone wants to toss me a cool million, they can knock me the f out. I'll happily lay my head on all the money that night. And at the end of the day, dude, it's really First all entertainment. Well, like I said, the f***er was on Disney Channel. It's not like he was some trained athlete. And I think this is the most reasonable response to this announcement. I hate myself that I'm going to watch this. Mm -hmm. Because anything with Jake Paul is almost like passing by a car accident. You don't want to watch, but you can't really take your eyes off of it. Not I also nuts. thought this was hilarious. People were predicting this is how the fight was going to go. <laughs> now, if this was back in the day, I mean, Mike Tyson might catch a murder charge. Like, let's say it was a celebrity back in the day and he wanted to fight Mike. Oh, I think he would have made a point to knock the f out of him. And here is... Absolutely. Battle. Shit. Mike would have made an example out of that nigga. He would have sat there and be like, listen, bring me a real motherfucking fighter. Bring me a real challenge to the ring. He, boy, and that nigga, that nigga will turn that little celebrity into a fucking slut in the ring. And then go ahead and taunt afterwards. Here's the official head-to-head. -head. You guys can see that beautiful 30-year age gap. Jake's got the 9-1 record against a bunch of milkmen and plumbers. While Tyson has the 50 and 6 against some of the greatest fighters of all time. I mean, 50 wins and 44 knockouts is f***ing insane. You know, I, I didn't even peep the game to the, the I mean, knockout 50... gang. 44 knockouts and 50 and 6. If it was Tyson and um Mayweather, then I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I would absolutely be tuned in. But... Mayweather is very good with his defense. He always, he always has been. He has power to knock people out, but it's like, you know, do you think Kai is annoying to watch? I was watching this one streamer and the chat was, was frying him bad. I feel like when it comes down to the Kai, people got to understand it is like, Kai literally does his thing. He makes the streams entertaining, brings people on there, always traveling for new content and everything like that i don't understand why it is that people get on kai the way how it is that they do but niggas love to hate niggas love to hate kai and, it, and that pisses me off and i've met kai and i'm just like yo i'm very i'm proud of you i'm glad it is like you're getting the recognition from twitch especially <laughs> being uh african-american and getting that recognition on this platform so you know ali mentored this nigga and y'all want to go up against that i forgot all about that he did he did he absolutely did this is why i'm like some you know like jake you have not had a fighter remotely close to what mike has done remotely close which is why i'm like listen and then on top of that too mike had something to prove back in the 90s in the 90s he wanted to be sure that he was not only the greatest fighter but someone it is you don't want to fuck with which is why i'm like you doing this publicity stunt and then and now finding out that Netflix is promoting it. Oh, yeah, this is a cash grab for sure. For sure. This is just to get people start talking about Jake Paul again. And I already hate it. He wins and 44 knockouts is insane. You from New York you know, I'm too? a little bit hey. too young to have witnessed Tyson in his prime. But my parents always tell me stories about, oh, you know, we bought the pay-per-view. We had the whole family over. Everyone stayed up all night to watch the main event. 
and then you better not get up and go to the bathroom because that shit was over in 12 seconds when Mike was around. Yep. And obviously Mike is not going to be no pushover. This guy still looks insane in his training footage. Poor trainer. <laughs> I mean, this is a damn near 60 year old man. Mm. I love that, John. You have to hate people who are succeeding in their craft. <laughs> man. It's all fine and dandy until it is that you succeed. And that's when it is these haters come out of fucking nowhere, bro. And it's like, for what? You wasn't doing this shit. Back when it is like a motherfucker was starting and, and getting all this shit together and everything like that. Now it is there's a little bit of success, a little bit of money, and then there's eyes on them and stuff like that. Now you want to act like a fucking bitch. Okay. okay. Man. With okay. insane movement. I mean, I won't lie to you guys, if Mike Tyson walked through my door right now and hit me with one of these combinations, I would die. He would send me- This nigga is in tidy whities and a t-shirt fighting up- What? You think it is that Tyson got nothing to lose? And he has everything to lose. And he acts as- he boxes as if like he has nothing to lose. Nothing. Me ...into the TV and there would be no more tan Superman. There's just a look at the official event poster. And this is kind of a groundbreaking event with it being live on Netflix. I don't know if they've ever hosted a boxing match. Yeah, I, I mean, as you have. guys can see per the Jake Paul announcement, they have 260 million people using Netflix right now, apparently including 500 million homes. Mike Tyson apparently has talked about the prospect of fighting Jake Paul in the past. Jake Paul is obviously, you know, he's big. beautiful. My kid, my, my family loves Jake Paul. Could you f him up? Oh, I'm so f and easy. I would never. I mean, it's my family. Everybody loves this little white mother. When you see a white boy with balls, you know, I'm talking about from real, but like, you, mother. I mean, Mike, I would say that 99% of people out there are rooting for you to get the knockout, for you to bounce this man's head off the canvas once and for all. Of course, the KSI fans came out the woodwork to try and discredit this bout, saying two years ago Mike Tyson was using a cane to walk. Jake Paul should be ashamed. Yep. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you, brother. You looking good, Mike. You know, you're welcome. He now, when that nigga Mike put that cane down and beat your ass, I don't want to hear shit. Y'all trying to really sit there and, and make it seem like it is that Mike cannot go ahead and knock a nigga out clean. How, why? Because it is he's in a cane? Well, shit, my dad had to wear a cane one time, but he sprained his ankle, I think, and I was younger. I was, I was like a baby when this happened. And my dad was still able to pack a punch, so I don't know what we saying. Also posted up this news story saying, ain't no way Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson, man. Mike Tyson is pictured in a wheelchair at the Miami airport raising new fears for his health amid problems with sciatica just weeks after he morbidly claims his death is coming real soon at age 56. I mean, you already know how I feel about KSI. I don't really think the guy has any morals. I kind of see him almost mm. as a darker shaded Logan Paul. And the funniest Damn. part about this to me yeah. is if KSI came out and announced that he was fighting Mike Tyson. Is, I haven't watched. I have not watched anything related to KSI in a while. And there's no disrespect or anything like that. It's just has slipped my mind. But is, is people not fucking with KSI anymore? Y'all let, let me know in the comments because y'all y'all usually do. <laughs> y'all usually do. But like. Why you pause on this face? I, you know, I had to, I had to ask. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't watch old school martial art movies or anime. Negroes with canes do not equate the unable to fight. Thank you, Tyson. The guy who runs this Twitter page would probably jerk himself off to the news that night. I mean, seriously though, if you are over the age of 13 and you're running a fan account for another man. It's time to reevaluate your entire life. I mean, keep in mind, at one point, Damn. KSI was lined up to fight this 40 year old man right here who had a 3 and 20 record. And instead, KSI ended up boxing this guy, and here's how the fight ended. Right here, I think. Make right to the body. Right here, the right hook. Oh, oh. oh An elbow to the fing jaw. Right here, the right hook. Oh, oh. Oh, what's up? 
Now, to be fair to KSI, at this point in the match, he was absolutely whooping this guy's ass, but he has still failed to acknowledge this elbow altogether, and he runs around acting like he's the biggest, baddest guy in town. I thought they were, I was getting up slowly because I thought they're counting because it was a clear, I felt the elbow. I saw the punch go past my face and then it hits me with an elbow. What punch was it exactly? Was it left it was a right, or right hand? hand? Right hand goes past and then it hits me. They have it all, it's gone, it's gone viral so everywhere. Literally, I felt bone. Like, he, he should be disqualified. That should go down as a loss. You I agree to that. And, and people got to understand is these levels of disqualifications, anything like, if somebody's down, you're hitting on them and anything like that, automatic disqualification. A elbow? And an elbow does, it, I don't know if you ever got hit with an elbow before and what damage can be done to, <laughs> from elbows within itself. Yeah, he should have got disqualified. So I understand that. It depends on which conversation fandom does, do, does not like him when it comes to the conversation related to Paul's sense that he's been in business with one of the brothers hating on another. But they still watch his Sidemen comment, the content. Okay. You can't walk up to someone in boxing and elbow them. It's not Muay Thai. It's not MMA. So that's how he felt about getting elbowed in his jaw. That. Someone said watching Jake Paul do a Fortnite dance over an unconscious 60-year-old Mike Tyson. Nah, man, it can't go down like that. That cannot happen. It's in the contract. I don't think Jake Paul could check his chin either way, but... Either way, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in this situation. You Jake Paul fanboys came for me quick. You said, oh, your video aged like milk. Where's the update? Well, here it is, guys, and I want to know what oh, you think down below. Munching, bro. Are Ugh. you going to be hate watching this? Do you think it's about as real as the WWE? I mean, I just see it as yet another piece of good entertainment, to be honest. It's like watching that train wreck Love is Blind. You got girls out here calling themselves Megan Fox. Gay guys out here gaslighting women. It's crazy. Netflix on some other shit. But either way, y'all know it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And some other boxing news out here needs to be covered. So I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah. And that Ryan Garcia video is coming soon. Hey, okay. Hey, listen, Jamari, I appreciate you for the video. And I do have to be careful while it is, and I, I, am eat, I am eating with braces. I may have to get up and clean my brackets at one point. But, but yeah. Hi, Rose. How are you? Like, grah, keep it up. But, yeah, that's why I'm like, listen, like, like y'all really sitting there trying to sleep on this nigga Mike as if, like, he's he not going to pack a punch on this nigga. But, you know, you said what you eating? Ramen? I'm not happy about it, but that's only because of the fact that it's soft. <laughs> Jimmy, what's up, Jimmy? But all right, listen, Jamari, shout outs to you. Thank you so much for the video. Shout outs to y'all in the chat. I see y'all. And shout outs to you at home. I will catch y'all in the next video.